Well, Joe, oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Is it? Eh. Eh. There we go. Okay. Let's try that again. Welcome, 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 everybody. Come on in and have a seat. My name is Sisterly Thrower, and uh, I, I have no idea why I'm here. I'm going to be honest. Not not in the streaming universe. I, I know why I'm here. I'm here to give you guys a great show. But I don't know why I'm here at Omega. I remember vaguely at the end of the last episode that there was some... Some sort of plan to all this. For the life of me, I can't remember what it is. So... I guess we're just going to leave because there's nothing I really want to do there, you know? Uh, I did hear one interesting thing, you know, through the grapevine about Mass Effect, though, which actually affects, affects where we're going. Hey, Mitchell, what's up? So, part of what I've heard, through the grapevine, as it were, I, I don't think it was here. I think it was another... Yeah, it was definitely another another place. Okay, I'm full up on fuel and probes. I'm gonna do a lot of probing today. Um... Hmm... Was it here? Oh, yeah, it was here. What's up with you? Are you going to probe me? Only if you ask nicely. And that's the kind of thing we do off camera. Uh, funny story. I was actually worried last time we did a stream about whether or not the resources for the ship had a cap. However, I've heard through the grape grapevine that one of the few flaws of this game, but the only fans yeah. One of the few flaws in this game is apparently the, hold on, the little bars here actually mean nothing. Because if you look, I am close to 30,000 uh, palladium there. I thought that meant I had to stop and go find something to spend the palladium on. But it turns out... Even though the bar is full, there's no cap. So... We'll be continuing on... As scheduled. Which I couldn't make sense, and I figured it was something like this. Because there are certain projects in the, um... Upgrade bay thing... That require like 50,000 palladium. And I couldn't figure out what was going on because I didn't remember any sort of like ship upgrades or anything like that that increased the storage. So I'm looking at all this like, what is going on? Because I can't afford these upgrades. Like my storage space is literally just too small. Oh, oh, there we go. I need some iridium. So we're actually going to go back to the original plan here. We're going to sweep this entire nebula and then we'll try to go recruit someone else. Last time we attempted to recruit, uh, recruit the warlord, which didn't quite go well because in the recruitment effort, the guy actually did died so it turns out dead people are not good recruits for an army you're eating ice cream it's not great I'm sorry man
Oh, wait, it's depleted. Okay. Let's leave the orbit. Let's get the last planet in here. And it's another rich planet. I think it's the flavor. Caramel butter pecan. Yeah. I don't vibe with that. Whoa. I mean, I'd like some other minerals too. Not that I'm not, you know, psyched about the palladium, but. Let's see what else we can find here. Sweeping back and forth. Mitchell, how was your day today? Oh, there we go. Yeah, how was the walk? Oh, wait, wait, I got, I got to get that pack. Shoot. Where? There it is. Not loving the book I'm reading, which sucks. I'm sorry. Is the book itself bad or is it just such a letdown after you like that other one so much? Is it bad or is it bad by comparison? Yes, thank you. I finally get some Iridium. Might just be your taste. I had a fascinating conversation with Mama Thrower today. Something that Mitchell and anybody else that watching at home is more than welcome to weigh in on. Um, it was a discussion about the the differences between games and books as media for telling stories. And Mama Thrower was actually pretty open to the whole thing, which was honestly really nice. Oh, uh, this is going to take a while. Yep. Ooh, there's an anomaly here. Oh, I guess I do have... All right, so this is actually the other piece. You guys remember we found, um, we found certain missions on certain planets that like we weren't expecting in uh, the original game. Here, when we scan, we can actually move forward towards Is that a distress call? Surface scans indicate wreckage of a merchant freighter. Configuration unknown. Damage to ship catastrophic. Detecting movement, but no signs of organic life. Oh, that's not good. Let's go hang out. But yes, instead of the warlord here, we have Grunt. But he's a pretty cool guy. I'll hang out with Grunt and Miranda. Let's see what's going down here.
Got some platinum, which is nice. Pixie, you weren't on when I streamed. I didn't get to reveal my amazing piece of art. I'm so sorry. I was actually out of my house pretty much all day today. Is there any sort of link or anything that you could send us? Um, Pixie, if you wanted to send me something on Basecamp, I trust you, and I'm I'm more than willing to put it up on on stream now if you're able to uh, send it to us. Because I am... Curious to say the least. Okay, I guess I can't. No, once that once that ammo's on, I can't take it off. Minor sunburn. Okay. Whatever you want. I mean I'm not trying to pressure you, I'm just You've piqued my curiosity. Making dinner? That sounds cool. What you making? Engineering status. Compromise. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element zero exposure levels. Critical fuel leaks throughout the engineering deck. Navigation status. Critical. Manual control of navigation impossible. VI control locked out by executive command. Authorization crat 43279. Sensor status. Compromised. Short range sensors offline. Unsafe planetary proximity detected at 0700 hours. <laughs> Life support compromised. Life support returning to safe levels via control locked out by executive command authorization crat 43279. Jalapeno cheddar sausages? That's cool. I know Mitchell's not a spicy food kind of kind of person, but that's okay. Shield status normal. Shield's holding at 100% integrity. No shield breaches detected. VI network compromised. Combating potential contagion. VI control of critical system locked out by executive command. Authorization crat 43279. Communication status compromised. Damaged communica communications array critical. Activating distress beacon. So... Something punched an enormous hole into, I'm assuming that is the vessel. Well, what's left of it at this point? Navigator's log. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Sorry, just going to briefly scan around up here, make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, that looked like something. What was that? Ah, there it is. I'm smart. See, platinum. We need that freaking platinum because I can't apparently find platinum to save my boat hole from a sprinkler. walk away baby just walk away you just don't get this streamer life <laughs> I can tell from the light she just went into another room and closed the door <laughs> are you something shipping manifest reflective mech armor X6378, 14 crates of mech armor, Jarhi station, Erx facility, 180 Loki mechs, one Ymir mech. Well, that's a problem. What the Frankie do is this? Ooh, platinum. Protect my butthole from that sprinkler. Now, some of you, some of you discerning viewers at home may be asking, God? 
some of you discerning viewers at home may be asking, what exactly is the uh, concern with Sprinkler Butthole? Do you mind? That looks important. I'm going to grab this first. Oh. See, one would think that, Mitchell, but actually, no. It's like that, but about twice as aggressive, while at the same time being about three times as gentle. What? What do you mean? Oh, are you serious? You never see the ones that can hook up to your shower? That's fair. I had that one. Whoever took that shot from me had it. That was just sad. All right, time to switch it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lordy. Okay, really? You're not? You gotta be like close to death at that point. Oh, nuts, man. Uh. Yeah, turns out that can hit me. That that's a that's a thing. Can I? Yeah, burns through armor. I'm gonna take this guy down. I don't even care. Watch out. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh wait, this guy's just straight up gone. All right. Let me just grab some ammo here. I feel like the accuracy on this rifle blows. Let's see, I got up early today, went over to go hang out with uh, Mama Thrower and Papa Thrower, which is always fun. Yeah, I mean, I didn't find any survivors. God, I hope there weren't any. But... See, 
See, again, doggy thrower, not really a name that you can have, like, good conscience about, you know? So. Uh, yeah. I figure the best way we can really spread this out, guys, long term is we're going to be probably scanning through, like, one way through a system, doing a mission, like, recruiting somebody, and doing another, um, then doing another system, and then recruiting another person. You guys get what I'm saying. It is sent. You have to play it on stream live without listening to it first. Oh god. I am I am so terrified right now. I cannot even begin to describe it to you guys. Um What do you guys think? You want to You want to listen to it now? We wait until the end of the stream. What do you guys want to do? Now? Give me one second here. Uh, okay. So let me close this and then as promised, you know, and do this. So just as a, um, Uh Hey guys, what's going on? Stump So y'all y'all heard that audio, right? I just wanted to make sure. I haven't played around with this overlay in a while. Y'all heard that audio? Yeah, okay. Then let me Let me turn that off for a second. I hate the name already. <laughs> uh, okay. So... Hold on. Oh, good lord. This is a... S this is like three minutes long? All right, y'all. Um, let me... Let me turn this back on here, okay? Hold on. Where'd it go? Okay. There. So... Daddy. Oh my god, I hate this already. <laughs> it's kind of bumping though, I'm not gonna lie.
This is a banger. Let's go. Clearly, it comes through on the beat drop. Oh my god, this is amazing. my goal to get this played at Steam Fest. <laughs> Let's go. Amethyst Pixie. Am I allowed to ban Amethyst Pixie asking for a friend? Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we may have found a replacement for the music that plays over the countdown and the exit stream screens amethyst pixie if you want to talk about that at length that's fine i get that this is your creative work and i want to see you you know fairly compensated for that but i do i do i do want to use this this is the first time that anybody has like taken anything from my stream or from anything that i've made and like turned it into their own creation and I'm literally about to cry right now. We'll talk. Done. Done. We'll chat. But oh my god, what a banger, ladies and gentlemen. That got me pumped up. Don't cry that we'll fuck with the context. Seriously though, that's the first time anybody's ever like made something for me as a creator like with themselves as a creator and like me here on the channel like that's the first time anybody's ever made anything like that oh my god i <sighs> keep it together but let's keep the show going let's keep the show going but thank you amethyst pixie so much for that that was Phenomenal. Well and truly. World premiere of daddy issues right there. Of course, the th of course, the thing that gets made for me is a title like daddy issues. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, if you send that to Cat, if you send that to Cat, I think she'd... Uh, actually, I'm not sure you should send that to her. She's probably going to play it at the next team talk. Which, again, is probably not going to work out too well for me. Amethyst Pixie coming in clutch with a phenomenal creation. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Even to be able to play it on stream. Come on. Seriously, that's not all the minerals that are here? Just wish Luke was here to experience that and lose his shit. <laughs> I 
launching probe. I, I think he'd like it. Love of God, why won't this planet just be done with already? You just have to lurk enough streams? You're merely my first victim? Victim? Feel more that I've been reached out and touched by, you know, creative genius. I mean, friend, <laughs> not victim, friend. <laughs> Digitizing is tedious. That's part of the fun of creative process though, Mitchell. Oh, it is part of the fun. Good God, can I... You... There it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break right here. I will be back in just a few minutes. I need to hire me one of these ladies in court to do this for me. <laughs> get this done in 15 minutes. I'll see if I can get a stenographer on hand for you. I will be back in just a few minutes, guys, and then we will continue on with the fun here in Mass Effect. I'm going to scan as much of the system as I can, but if we get to an hour, I'm going to jump into one of the recruiting missions. Thank you, guys, and I'll be back in a few. Ladies and gentlemen, back at it again. You're such a nerd for knowing what they're called. I'm sorry I know what a stenographer is. Ugh. Okay. Let's do this. So, I don't think I have a lot left in terms of probes. Let's head back to the mass relay. Do you know what, uh, insert thing you don't know here? There's a lot of stuff I don't know. Okay. Actually, you know what I'm tempted to do? I'm tempted to go up to... Okay. How be up? Unread messages. Let's see, Corsica, last known docking coordinates from ED information acquired. Location coordinates Jarhe Station, Strabo System, Eagle Nebula. Data mining confirms the last reported location of merchant freighter MSV Corsica as the Jarhe Station in the Strabo System. Possibility exists that clues pertaining to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of the mechs aboard Corsica can be found aboard Jarhe Station. Okay. I can go there. Talitha. Shepard, I don't know if you remember me. I had a gun and you stopped me from hurting myself. <gasps> it's her! She was the one down in the ship hangar this, that was um, recently rescued from slavers. My doctors say I'm doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me he could get a message to you. Don't know what would have happened if you hadn't talked me, talked to me that day, but the doctors are helping me. I'm getting better. They put me in a special school. Oh, they say I'm doing good. The doctors say that other people are getting taken like I was. I hope you can help them like you helped me. Oh, that is so sweet. Consort Shaira. Commander, I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I'm pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even deeper darkness. 
And you fought Saren. Only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, Consort Shaira. Oh, yeah, she was the one that I slept with accidentally. Um, you and Garrus are alive. <laughs> Is Garrus alive? I gotta go hang out with him. Oh, from Dr. Michelle. Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I fear I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you. I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who... grown to depend upon both of you. Was Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore because he hasn't returned any calls. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Oh, I think she might... Oh, I think she has the hots for him. Okay. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Where both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Okay. So... Let's stick with that right now. Let's go get some upgrades. Weird, let me take care of you, massage therapist, happy ending chick. Yeah, that was Consort Shaira. Okay, apparently I can do, like, fuck all nothing. So... Let's go do another mission now. You know what, let's just, let's forget it. Let's go do another mission. She seems like fun. Yeah. I'm assuming she's still at the Citadel. You can only access part of the Citadel, like a couple of floors, but... I don't know. But I know their species can do things when touching you, so hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times, please and thanks. Alright guys, what... What do you want to see? We have recruiting the Master Thief. The Firewalker MSV Rosalie, that's part of the DLC. Uh, technically, the Master Thief is actually part of the DLC. Have you ever gotten a massage? No, but I've always wanted to. Uh, recruit the convict. Uh, Mitchell, a part of me thinks you'll really like the convict. Archangel is a regular one. The veteran is actually a part of the DLC as well. Oh, I thought you were talking about like an official massage. No, I mean, yeah, I've gotten one from wifey before when like back when I was doing martial arts. Oh, yeah, totally. The Normandy crash site is very short, but it's also part of the DLC as well as Project Overlord is part of the DLC. So we got a lot going on here. What do you guys want to see? Everybody at home. Actually. Oh, there's so many choices. Me liking morally corrupt characters on the run from redemption. Groundbreaking. Okay, Mitchell piping in first with the Normandy crash site. Let's get to it. That is up here. That's actually out of this particular system. But we have enough fuel, so we should be good. Oh my god, this, all of these systems are going to take so long to scan. Feel since it happened recently, it makes sense to just knock that out. That's fair. That's fair. Let's get to it. Ah, uh, so it considers this an anomaly. All right. Let's 
Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone amid the crash site. Let's get to it. I don't remember this taking very long at all. Progress, though, man, that's progress. So, a suitable place for the Normandy Monument and any sign of the 20 crew members that did not survive, which we will find here in these dog tags. Rosamund Draven. Some flashbacks here. Press O to place the monument. Abhishek Pakti. I don't feel like doing any more work, so I'm not going to. I feel like this is the best place for it. The most symbolic place. There wasn't anything behind here, was there? Oh, no. It's two down, 18 to go. Here at the Normandy crash site. And apparently I can't get out of here. Can I do this? Okay. Raymond Tanaka. Dog tag collecting? And a lot of this. A lot of memories here. I know it's not the most exciting level, but as far as, um, Alexei Dubiansky, as far as what we do here as the video game therapist, you know, although we are not seeing any signs at this point of any negative you know, reactions to the trauma, it is important to understand Hold on. It is important to understand that while there is no negative reaction at this moment in time, we still must recognize that there is a significant trauma history here. Here we have Helen M. Lowe.
And trauma is always one of those really tricky fields that's hard to navigate both as a trauma survivor and as a therapist trying to assist someone in trauma survival because a lot of times there are people who experience a lot of distress after experiencing such a trauma but their life is not technically affected by it they're still going to school or going to work being a husband spouse wife son daughter whatever it is and that's a tricky tricky area to navigate robert felawa Monica Negulesco. Orden La Flame. And this is one of the... <sighs> you know, that's actually just something that I was just thinking about in the back of my head. And honestly, my... My perception here is no, but my perception is based on a subjective interpretation of what these flashes are. It seems to be grainy. It doesn't seem to be anything that's in like the same resolution or detail that we see the world in now. So it's almost like he's just having a memory. We have Hector Emerson. If it's just a memory, then no. Flashbacks... The specific nature of flashbacks and a part of what makes them so especially dangerous and and you know painful is that there's more there is almost that feeling that you are back in there physically you know reliving that moment as if it's literally happening to you again Germine barrett Marcus Greco. Sorry, just mentally trying to keep track of where we've been. Here we have the Mako. God, I hated driving it around, but it is sad to see it like this. Seems like it in large part actually survived the crash, funnily enough. Silas Crosby. Harvey J. Gladstone. There's my old command center. Addison Chase. Oh, God. Unrecoverable data. Spoke to the commander about this. I blank all these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ships. I just don't trust them. In that damned Asari and Aquarian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Oh, good lord. Oh, the, this is Presley's journal. Thought it was Ashley's for a second. 
with Aquarian. It seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I woo babysit my children or anything. If she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. It says up at the top left, Journal Navigator Presley. For a while now, I'm looking back at past entries in this journal. I, how blind I was at the time. I came on this ship firm, firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say, I'm assuming I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Yeah, we we hard stand growth. Well, Ashley's dead, so I'm not sure we're really going to have to worry about Ashley anymore. I'm assuming there's one up here. No? Is this my helmet? It's my lost N7 helmet. Holy crap. Uh, tomorrow, kind of a chill day with the wife. Honestly. Um. Can't really... Think of a whole lot that's going on. We are going to see my parents again just to finish up laundry. But... Jameen Bakari... Oh, I guess I have to go around. What is this? Is that just an SOS pad that there's no you know, memory attached to it? You know what? Let's, uh... We have Carlton Tux. Uh, cookies? I mean, I, I don't believe so. Not that I wouldn't be down for some cookies. I'm always down for cookies, but... Wait, where is that? Uh oh. Mandira Ramen. Carolyn Granado. Talitha Draven. Yeah, these really look like um, still shot, like memory shots as opposed to flashback. But good question, though. Thank you for that question, Mitchell. Also, I went to Big Lots today. They had Christmas stuff out. Of course they did. Oh, Pixie, uh... Amethyst Pixie, piping in. What's up? And Amina Waberry. That is all 20 of the Normandy crew members. Did they regrow Shepard or just plonk his memories into some poor bastard? From what they always said so far, they regrew him.
Okay. I really thought there was another thing, there was another thing you could uh, grab here, but I guess not. That's what I meant, like bringing him back to life. Yeah, it, Pixie's right. They had they had shepherd goo, and they used that to regrow him, basically. It's with a combination of stem cell, um, stem cell science and cybernetic implants. So really, guys, that's it as far as the crash site goes. We can still uh, scan it, which I will spend a little bit of time doing right now. But while I'm trying to scan, um, what, what did you guys want to see at this point? I don't know the game well enough to tell you. Well, that's why I was giving those um, mission hints earlier. We can recruit the convict. We can recruit Archangel. We can recruit the master thief. We can recruit the bounty hunter. Uh, Pixie says the thief. All right, we will get the thief started. From what I remember, it takes a while. But we will get it started. So we might have to, like, kick this into the next stream. Yeah, I'm not uninstalling and playing Solitaire, Mitchell. That's, that's not happening. <laughs> um... Like I said, guys, the Master Thief is actually a part of the DLC that came out with the original game. As such, her recruitment mission is a little bit extended, which is fine. Uh, it already said something about her in one of the uh, messages that we've already seen. Uh, let me just finish depleting this planet and then we can uh, go get that mission started. I don't think we'll be able to finish it now, but... We are sure as shooting, gonna give it a shot. Oh, I don't care if you're paying attention, it's just not a spoiler if it's literally already set it on screen. There you are. All right, so we know that one's scanned. Um, we're gonna have to go back. We'll buy up some fuel and some more probes and then we'll go. Uh, laundry mostly. Whoop, that's not right. That's not right. Back up, back up. I thought that was this. 
Um, trying to get ready for a wedding next week. Wedding should be good, though. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna dock at the Citadel. We might, we might cruise the stores, see what we can buy. It, it's been a lot of weddings. You're not wrong. Not wrong at all. Oh no, we're going to go back for the free gift. Trust me. Like I said, we're just shopping around right now. So to my right. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has what can I do for you? Oh yeah, more shady shit. Might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral ferret, let alone a shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and the Shepard, the one that put down Saren Arterius. Yeah. Oh, you do know. This is I so slimy. Spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Well then. We record it now. Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That takes her off to do some shady no shit. Do da, do da. I didn't get away with it. <laughs> All right. So spare ammo capacity. It's a vest. Hmm. Well, I definitely want this. This other stuff seems more, uh, more sort of whatever. So. Let's... Oh, is that the only place over here? Son of a gun. No. I have a space hamster. <laughs> Fuck you. <clears throat> Leave me and my son alone. Come on, please. You have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date.
I don't have to chill out because I have a space hamster and you don't. One last chance to check out the stories down here. I didn't... Uh, I feel like even that's not. He's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. Wait, can I talk to them? I know. I'm not being irrational, Michael. I know. No, I guess not. Hey, Mitchell, guess what? I am a space hamster. No, oh, that's freaking useless. All right, we're just gonna go by the um. What medical upgrade do you need? There we go. Is that a crack at the fact that they talked to me, even though I was a random person off the street? Because frankly, quite frankly, I do not need that kind of sass. From the two of them. All right, guys. Before we get into this, we are going to look at the dossier. Kasumi Goto, master of stealth and infiltration, skilled hacker and information specialist. Operates completely off the grid. No criminal record. Kasumi Goto is not the most famous thief in the galaxy. She's the best. Trained in the arts of stealth and infiltration, she has acquired artifacts and information from all over the galaxy. And yet maintains a completely clean criminal record. She's awaiting rendezvous with Shepard on the Citadel in the Zakira Ward. So. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good we got that in an email from the elusive man. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me. So I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. And we're offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. Oh. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Oh, shoot. I'm stupid. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Quick detour here. Small, uh, small issue. Technically, she's on the crew now, but I believe we now have the question of what exactly do we do with her now that she's here? And what we're about to talk about now applies to every single crew member we have. So listen closely. Recruiting them is not enough. In order to expand upon the powers available to them, we actually have to do extra missions. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Did I? Okay, I did that. Oh! 
Oh, the Normandy crash site stuff. Okay, that's what was new. So even though she's a part of the ship, we have to go do stuff for her. But I am not going anywhere, and Mitchell Gregory is a phenomenal name for a hamster. Gregory? Oh! There he is! Oh, he just made a squeak sound! Squeak! It, it literally sounded like somebody talking into a camera. That, Squeak. Squeak. Oh my God, Gregory, you are adorable and I love you. I would die for Gregory. Wish I could get him more stuff for his cage though. That's a little sad. So, I, I guess my question changes here a little bit. Um, Kasumi's on the team. This is her loyalty mission. We complete this mission successfully and she is loyal to us. And part of what unlocks with loyalty that's important is loyal crewmates get an extra power access to access. So Master Thief Kasumi Goto has a problem. A ruthless arms dealer named Donovan Hawk killed her partner Keiji Okuda and stole Okuda's gray box, a neural implant that stores memories and information. Kasumi has planned a daring heist to recover Okuda's gray box and has asked for help in pulling it off. Once this is done, Kasumi can dedicate all her attention to completing Shepard's mission. So. This is what we're going to go do. Okay. I just have to remember Serpent Nebula Beckenstein. Transferring to bedroom? Alright. Alright now. Nothing really here on Beckenstein. But I'm not getting a... Uh... Not really getting a notice about where to launch a probe, so this is kind of confusing me, actually. land duh if i could read menu prompts that would be phenomenal okay so this is what i was talking about here this flashbang grenade if she is loyal to us well yeah that's why gregory is not in the first normandy he's okay so kasumi is also automatically selected to be a part of the squad because this is her loyalty mission but if we complete this we get access to this flashbang grenade skill so this is kind of a catch-all upgrade that I'm going to do all of. Recharge time of power, uh, weapon damage. Let's do that. And then let's, let's do shadow strike, which will unlock overload. Is it just the two of us? I honestly can't remember. Plus the fact that this DLC kind of changed the
I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover. You run a small <laughs> but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus system. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Let's go. You don't start talking business with him. What's up, Bat? Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get the neural implants inside. Well then. <laughs> I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? I mean, possibly even. You should wear this stuff more often. You know, I, I think a lot of this mission reply, relies on charisma or uh, 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 paragon points. I'm not sure this was good that we're doing this now, but <laughs> we're stuck. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple okay. dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. What am I bringing? Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can oh, nice. Pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a side arm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there. Waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's great box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? A little bit. Great box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. I don't remember what the secret is, guys. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Let's do this Ocean's Eleven style. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Wait, what's my name again? S Solomon Gun? Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. What's up? Is there a problem? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. Solomon Gun. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. Okay. Don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble, do you? No. You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. Oh, great. <laughs> and stick with you the best I can. Sure. Awesome. Fantastic. Let's do this. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Oh, she went invisible. I look amazing. How did you ever contain that situation with Hulk? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, you're done. Thank goodness. How about those rabbits and dogs and mules? That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Okay. I'm assuming we have to talk to Donovan at some point, but let's just take a, uh, take stock of the situation here. What's your read on that Dark Angel guy? 
He's making it too expensive to do business on Omega. So I hear some mercs are coming together to deal with it. Oh, I should probably not go down there. Anything interesting out here? Private Reams, no way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight and security chief Rose in charge. No way Roe would let that get past her. I'd rather stand around board on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuels. All right, so we've checked out outside. See, we're, we're smart thieves. We're, we're not just running straight in. Let's talk to Donovan. I think we've done everything. I, I guess I do have to go downstairs. Uh, yeah, yeah, great party. I, I, I gotta pee. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. <sighs> Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX-700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Okay. Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. Cage is kept through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Was KG your boo? It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Excuse me while I just awkwardly maneuver in and out of uh, foot traffic here, everybody. Excuse me. Hmm. Well... Okay, apparently they do not get out, just make out with him and get DNA samples that way. I mean, you're not wrong. But then he'd remember us, you know? Okay. You're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is... What fools? They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me... And you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. Well, aren't you quite the grand philosopher, sir? I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Oh, thank God. Okay. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. 
All right, now we just have to talk our way past this guard. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk? This may have been a mistake. I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. So, what do I do? Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security. I have clearance to go. Look, I already called in once. This is getting old fast. Just try it again. Fine. Chief Rowe, Samuels again. These guests are back and... You... Yes, that's right. I... Yes, okay, I'll tell them. You're not getting through this door. Get lost. I don't think he's going to cooperate. <sighs> Wait, maybe the security station. I forgot about this one over here. And so I have that problem too. So many passwords around here can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. It's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. The voice scanner means the password's only useful to Hawk anyway. After this party, want to grab some beers? Let me know. Samuels. The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped into their communications. Maybe it'll come in handy. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. What are they watching on TV? Y'all seeing that? All right, see now what happens if I go after the um Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. Well, See, we, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Do I have to find Chief Rowe? Is that the problem? Because I can get through most of it, but I'm just, I'm... I I guess I have to go find the security chief. Like I said, guys, I it's been so long. Oh, it a hell of a party. Yes. I must be pleased with the party. Can I? No, I guess I can't. Did I miss something in here, maybe? I don't know where Chief Rowe is. Did I just permanently, like, screw up this mission? Gotta get better. I mean... I guess you're... Right, apparently I'm just stupid. Uh, 
Oh. Here they come. I feel like I don't have a choice. Oh, that! Oh, this was bad. Can't do that right now. There is no freaking way that the people of the party did not hear that. I am calling all matter of bullshit. So what? What? I see something. Am I just missing something here? Oh my god. Wait. No? Am I just stupid here, guys? Like, what? I don't want to talk about it. All right, into the man's bedroom. <laughs> Yes, maybe he left DNA in the plant. <laughs> Even Kasumi's like, what are you doing? No. A credit chip. One. Oh. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Ooh, wine glass. Let's get the wine glass. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Good morning. <sighs> oh, God. Seriously, how are people not getting alarms about this? I'm the worst thief ever. I, I am literally the worst thief that has ever tried to thief. This is friggin' ridiculous. Okuda decryption project update. Little progress to report. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Okuda family has not produced any matches. It's unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce a result within our lifetimes. Given the nature of the gray box technology, it's possible that the decryption key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security on the box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. 
He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure it matters not. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. I mean, if I'm here, I might as well. You know. We get out through the door up here? Oh, okay. Hey guys, great party. Uh, yeah, I, I'm so glad that we've been staring at this painting for a couple hours. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm the best thief. Does Shepard understand that, um... The statue of Saren is not actually Saren, right? Doesn't look like I had any of my weapons there. Ah. Oh my goodness, I have all these upgrades. Um, let's do the missile launcher. Well, somebody certainly has a lot of nice stuff. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. I can still get money for something like this, even outside the alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. That's the head of the Statue of Liberty. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! All right, hold on. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Casa Locus. No, the Casa Locus. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This might be useful. The M12 Locust SMG. Take it. Oh, right. It's probably protected. I mean, be careful. It's cold locked. 
well then. That was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. Um. Your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die screaming just like your old friend. Let's see you oh, I had the chance to renegade and like shoot some of his stuff. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. Oh, this can't be good. Um. All right. I actually kind of like this. I like the audio to it. I like the, um, Oh look, convenient weapons locker is convenient. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Now you see me. Oh, they've got a mech. Oh, that's just not cool. Incendiary ammo. Kasumi, are you di oh? Why do I want this girl on my team if she dies every 30 seconds? Come on, Kasumi. I'm almost out of rounds. Hit. Money. I'm gonna go sleepy night night. All right, as soon as I um leave and survive this, I will be calling it here as well, so you won't be missing too much tonight. Just have to uh, try to finish strong here. There it is. No, nobody's gonna walk in and start shooting me in the face. Whoa, 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 boys, boys, ladies, gentlemen. Poke your head out. It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those two. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, refined platinum. Hey, like a boss. Uh, you stole it off a dead guy's corpse. Don't know if we can really consider that one your property, but. You just keep doing you, buddy. Whoa. Uh, let's put the disruptor ammo back on because I see him back there. This does better on our uh, synthetics. Uh oh. I believe everybody else here is an organic enemy. I don't think anything really new over here. Let's keep it going. I mean, I I'm going to be real honest here. I thought, um, Ammunition. I'm really liking this rifle. I'm not gonna lie. We can use this. Tech damage, okay. Liking that, let's get out the door. Oh, don't tell me you're in like a mech or something, because if you are that is cheating of the highest order. Alright, now move up. Got some refined platinum. Focus. Hello. There are the spare parts. I knew they were there. Lots of platinum everywhere, which is kind of nice too. I prefer it being element zero because I can never find any of that stuff. But. Pill for everything we could here. Not quite, apparently. Now he did. Okay. Come on, Kasumi. We're going home. Oh, is, is this us fighting Donovan? Or did we already fight him? He's going to have a super cool mech suit, and I'm going to be so jealous. Or that! Could have done this the easy way, Allow me 
to show you the hard way. Look left. Let's put on the disruptor ammo. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's hit him with something a little bit harder. Okay. button wrong button or maybe it is the right button apparently like I said Is there something I'm supposed to like hit like some sort of computer thing or some such? I don't know. I don't know what the game's trying to tell us. Like, I just, I literally don't get it. Maybe this means I did a good thing? It's like a spider monkey. I love it. Need to get up for ammo. Come on. Ah. 
Come on. Where are you going, Donovan, you old butt face? See, I knew it was just one more trigger pull and I'd be able to kill him. We good, Kasumi? Ready then. Kasumi, if you're seeing this. Oh god, I don't know if I have the emotional strength for this. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the council ever got wind of this, the alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box. So no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, oh. so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. God, I hate that she's like clinging on to him and because he's just virtual, he's just like... <sighs> I don't know. See, on the one hand, if she's not ready to get rid of those memories, I don't want to force her to. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Exactly. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Sorry, Pixie. I did not, uh... Did not give you enough time to respond there. I'm sorry. I thought everybody had gone to bed on me. <laughs> sorry about that. So we now have Kasumi Goto. The heist was successful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, she has the flashbang. She has a new outfit. We have a new weapon, a new upgrade. A whole bunch of money. Holy crap. 2,000 platinum. No, uh, no messages. Did we get rid of the Kasumi? Okay, yeah, we did. So, can we... Let me see, I'm, I'm glad that it actually showed that there. Kasumi is now loyal to us, and we have, um, various outfits here. This outfit just looks cooler. 
So we'll probably hang out with Miranda and Kasumi. Just to, uh, just to keep things fresh. Hang out with various people. We're going to see if we can do any of these upgrades, and then we're going to call the show there. Uh, tech damage, yeah. Apparently that's all we can do. And we need a boatload more platinum. Like, holy crap, we need a lot more platinum. But it's been something of a tradition to end off the episodes here, so we will do just that. I will say thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed the show today here in Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. I am loving this game. I'm having such a good time. Uh, we are going to put Sly Cooper on the back burner because I'm just having so much fun right now and I just don't want to give it up. So we're going to do that so we have um, access to the cryo ammo. Because I, I just want us to have access to all our powers and then we'll you know level them up as we go. We'll do that. Um... So, yeah, a lot of this is still DLC right here. I I have no idea how to do this one. And we also have our um, dossiers. We still have the veteran. Like I said, this is DLC. The convict and Archangel are actually part of the base game originally, but we're going to recruit everybody. We're going to have a great time with everybody, and I can't wait to do it again with everybody. It was fun until next time. Till next time, this is Pixie. Thank you so much, and thank you so much again for... <laughs> God, I can't believe I have to say this. Amethyst Pixie, thank you so much for Daddy Issues. Um, A phenomenal creation. You and I are going to chat. Um, <laughs> we're going to chat about, uh, how I can use this in all of my streams because I, I do want to use it. So we'll chat about that and we will, um, see what we can do. I will try to send you a message on Basecamp, uh, probably later, probably tomorrow. Um, but at that point, at this point, guys, I do have to say farewell until the next Mass Effect stream. So, thank you really so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed the show today here in Mass Effect 2. I had a great time. We did a bunch more mineral scanning. We outran a sandstorm. We buried the dog tags of our fallen comrades on the original Normandy. And we got a new, now loyal, team member. Going to be so much fun to continue this game with you guys. And I will be back on Monday with yet another Mass Effect 2 stream. Like I said, I'm just having so much fun with this. I just don't want to stop, so I'm not going to. Uh, we'll be back on Monday with more of Mass Effect 2. And a couple highlights coming up. Uh, thank you to everybody who was able to show up for Into the Dragon's Nest Episode 1 with Telthazard playing It Takes Two. It's a phenomenal time. I had so much fun, and he and I are currently in talks right now to figure out when we can do the next episode. It's looking like not this Friday, but potentially next Friday. So not this coming Friday, but the Friday after that. Because this Friday, at least I think, is the Mindful Gaming Roundtable. Check it out on Friday. I'll talk to you guys before then just to make sure that's actually happening, but as long as it's actually happening... Um, be there. Check it out. It's going to be a great episode, as always. Uh, and I think that's it for me. So if you haven't followed me here on Twitch, please be sure to do so so you get up to minute updates about what I'm doing and when I go live. If you have not subscribed on YouTube, punch that subscribe button in the face like it owes you money. Slap that notification bell as well just to get those notices about when I post my brand new content. 
Check out the social media information for the Ohana because we're on Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, and TikTok. Check it out. Make some friends. Have some fun because there's always room for more in our Ohana. But thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next stream with more of Mass Effect 2. But until next time, peace out, y'all.